Hello everyone. So this video uh, will show you how to actually find this files that is extracted from your CM50D plus contact. And when it's extracted, I realize that these files are actually not able to find easily. So if you go to over here, you will be able to see a link. C drive program files, SPO2 data. But when you go over to the real the, the link exact link, you realize there's only one demo file instead of having all these files. So I'm just going to show you how to find these files. It's actually hidden inside another virtual folder. So I'm going to, just going to go through this step first to show some others who won't know uh, may not have known how to actually download this detail. So firstly on the CM 50D plus uh, and press and hold the button to go into this uh, menu. So that's where you will be able to let it detect. Before that, of course, there's drivers to be installed. So you may be able to find the details from other YouTube videos. So once actually click connect and receive the data. So this will take some time. But I just want to import a fresh new data where I can repeat the process so I can guide you through exactly. So I'm going to upload two more other uh, links to um, files that I can't find easily online, which is this latest SPO2 assistant. It's version 3.05. So hopefully uh, when new versions come out and someone managed to find, do share it with us because it's very hard to find uh, the latest version, although it's not necessary. Okay, so once it is done, you realize that uh, one more file is actually added in. Okay, let's say the latest date is 6.18, which is uh, currently this one. So notice that the files are not there. So the way to find it is to go to this link. The actual path is actually here. But if you can't find it, just do, do these following steps. Copy this exactly. Copy. And just paste it and press enter. Then you, you can actually follow through this link. But I realize that app data actually can't be found here. So in case you are trying to find to slowly click in, it's actually just hidden. So you go to view, hidden items, and realize this app data comes up. But this doesn't matter. You can actually slowly click in. But I'm going to show you an easier step, which is to just copy the whole of this part. Copy. Go back to this link. Click here. And... Okay, I'm not sure whether this works. Okay, it may not. Okay, and press enter. Oh, okay. So it does. It, so I, I'll just gonna click in first. Then okay, now the link is almost complete. Then I'll just paste it back again. So it's not that easy to find, it, even if you just copy paste the whole thing. So once you press enter, still doesn't find. So I'm just going to. Uh, okay, I'm just going to do step by step then. App data local virtual store, local virtual store, then program files. This one, then this one. So I'm not too sure how come this link doesn't work. Let me just do a comparison because I'm curious as well. Ah, okay. There's a the program files x86. So it may differ from system to system. So if your system doesn't come with this this thing, basically this just means uh, it will just run in 32-bit system. So 32-bit means uh, older system, newer one is uh, 64, but this software is stuck at 32-bit, so you just uh, add this in. Okay, uh, if it doesn't work, just remove this and just paste it indirectly. Okay, so this is done. I'm going to just copy this link now and save it somewhere, or I can even just right-click pin to start pin to start so this will actually comes out here and I will be able to access it very easily every time since I haven't done it as well so I'm just going to put it here okay so now that you find this one uh, hopefully this already helped you so I'm going to proceed on further for to the next steps in, in case you may want to learn how do I actually 
do certain things like changing the date and time. So once this is done, I'm just going to click in and realize it's, it's there. Okay, so the next step is this. How do I change the time? So I'm just going to go to this SPO2 date changer. So I'm going to just select the file. So note that now I can actually find the file in this link, but not in the link that is given from this SPO2 assistant. So once I manage to find this link, paste it here, this link, I'll proceed on to the latest file, just now 6.18 p.m., which I just extracted. If I click in, just going to go to the date, and I know that the time is actually 1.59. So, so when I click save date and time, the date and time will actually be written into the file this time because CM50D plus doesn't come with a clock. So if I were to go to uh, this Oscar app, which is a sleep apnea app, if I go to this welcome, I go to this, uh, make sure that you only click this oximetry wizard after you have imported the data. If not, uh, it may actually mess the data up. So for this day, I'm just going to click in so I click on import from a data file so I would, would go to this 618 okay the, it's been overwritten 622 because I just returned this new date and time so after I click in notice that when I click on this I need to set the time manually uh, this one the date and time will actually be updated instead of showing up as zero so if I were to click save and finish it's going to match it with my CPAP data and that's how I actually synchronize both the data from the CPAP machine to this uh, CM50D+. Plus. So once you have done it, when you go to daily view, you'll be able to see that it matches. So this is the previous day. So I actually messed up the details back then so there's actually two sessions. So that's why you see this break. Normally it should be seen like this. So the SPO2 with the pulse rate will actually synchronize with the with the sleep apnea machine. But if you actually start the CPAP machine with your device at the same time, you may actually choose this instead. I start started this oximetry recording near the same time so we actually match it with the same time okay that's all for my sharing so hope this helped someone so if you find this useful and hope that this video will reach out to other people more easily do give a, a thumbs up to help improve the youtube algorithm so more people can find it okay thank you and hope this helps